Hey, this is Debbie with Food Prepping Channel, and it's cold outside. My furnace is on for like the first time this year. Uh, I had to change the filter and all that yesterday, and so I feel like fixing something that is good for cold weather. So I'm going to fix a soup, but this is a different kind of soup. This is um, lasagna soup. I've, I have seen it all over the internet, and I haven't made it before, but I'm going to try it today. I've got about two pounds of ground chuck in here and one medium onion, and then I've got my little chopper thing and I'm just going to chop up the the ground chuck get it all chopped up in here and cooked and I've got to get the, the other items together that I'm putting in here and while this is cooking I've got I'm cooking this in my um, ninja foodie and I've got it right now on sear saute and so I'm going to try to get this all cooked up and I will bring you back when I get to the next step okay y'all the hamburger is pretty well browned up I'm just going to let it cook a little bit more. My phone's going crazy. I don't know why I forget to cut it off every time. All right, I have got some seasonings that I'm going to go on and put in here. And I'm going to let them kind of meld with this um, water grease in here and let it cook through. And then I've got the other things to do. All right, the first thing I'm going to put in here is Italian seasoning. I'm going to go one heaping teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I might do about a half, another half of a teaspoon. All right. Y'all know I don't like garlic. This would be where you would put your garlic in, but I don't like garlic. But I'm going to try this. I'm going to do one teaspoon of roasted garlic I got this roasted garlic powder all right so I'm going to do one teaspoon of that in here all right and I've got I've got fresh basil and fresh parsley outside that I'm gonna get but I'm gonna go on and put some um, dried basil leaves in here probably let's see yeah you know, probably a teaspoon of basil I've got basil leaves in here all right onion powder I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna put two teaspoons of onion powder in here there's one There's two. Spill it all over the place. All right, and now I have red pepper flakes. And I don't want this to be very spicy. So I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of red pep pepper flakes in here. Alright, there's all that I'm going to put in. I probably will regret that because I probably will want some, a little bit of spice in it and that might not be enough, but I'm too scared to put any more. Alright, now I've got, I'm going to put in two big bay leaves, but I'm, let me stir this all up first. And 
right, I'm just going to let this sit here and saute for a little bit. And I will bring you back with the next step. Okay, y'all. I want to show you this. I'm opening up a can. This is a 28-ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And I want to show you this little jewel right here. This is the Kitchen Mama can opener. I have this linked on my channel. You can get 10% off by using the code Debbie10. And this is just amazing. I love this thing. All right, so see this little thing right here? You put it up against the edge of your can, in the middle of your can, and then you press this button, and it's gonna go. It's gonna go down. It's going to start cutting off this lid, and. It is just amazing. If you've got children or grandchildren, this is what you need because it um, it will take this lid off and it nothing will be sharp there. Nothing. You could the kids could play with the can. That's how um, easy it is that it will take the lids off. And like I said, this will be listed below. All right, and do you see it just finished there? That means that it's already done cutting it off. Now, let's see if we can... I've seen other people get theirs off with their lid, but I can't. I have to take it. <laughs> All right, see, the lid just pops right off where they put the lid on in the factory, and it is amazing. All right, so that's the the um, the Kitchen Mama, and it's listed below with the ten percent discount. So you can go and and get this. It's just it, it is amazing. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so this um, hamburger, ground beef, whatever ground chuck is what it really is, is done. These spices have melded in here with the, with the um, ground chuck, and it smells amazing in my house. I'm talking amazing. All right, so now, let's get on with it. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to pour in now is a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. These are just regular diced tomatoes. All right. They're going in, and then I have a 28-ounce can of crushed tomatoes. They're going in right here. Let me make sure that I get my spoon and make sure all this goodness is going into the pan and not left stuck in the can. All right. Let's stir this up a little bit. And now I have three cups of chicken broth that I'm putting in here. I'm, I just used, um, I'm not sure whose this is, Chef's, Chef's Cupboard Chicken Broth. I'm not sure which place this is, Kroger, Walmart, or Aldi. All right. There's the 32 ounces of that. And now I'm going to put the two bay leaves in it. All right. There they are. I'm going to leave this on saute now for a little while. And just let this cook in here for 15 or 20 minutes. And then we're going to go on with the lasagna soup, and I will bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so I am going to put, this looks awful tomato-y to me, so I'm going to put two more cups of water in here. So that means that it's got six cups of water in it. Well, four cups of the chicken broth and two cups of water. 
All right, now I'm going to put, just to curb some of the um, acidity in this, I'm going to put two teaspoons of just regular granulated sugar in here. And that ought to help with the <clears throat> acidity of it. All right, and I forgot to put salt and pepper, so I'm going to put one whole teaspoon of kosher salt in here. Maybe I better put, yeah, because I've still got the pasta to cook. All right, so I'm going to go on and put two whole teaspoons of, of coarse um, kosher salt in here. All right, and the next thing that I've got to get is pepper and I'm going to put one teaspoon of pepper all right there's the pepper all right now let's stir this up it doesn't seem like it's got very much ground beef in it but it does all right, and I don't think that I'm forgetting anything. I'm not putting peppers in this. Some people put peppers in it, but I'm not going to. I've got all my spices, my, you can see my um, bay leaf in there. All right, so I'm going to let this cook for a little while, and then I'm going to, we're going to break up the lasagna noodles in here, and then I'm going to pressure cook it, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, y'all, I'm cutting the sear function off now, and I'm just going to let this sit here while I break up the lasagna. Now, the next thing you need is lasagna sheets. I'm not sure how many ounces. I have a 12-ounce box. And I'm just going to break these up. <laughs> I'm going to try to break them up two at a time. I don't want these cut broke. I might just do one at a time. I don't want these broke into little pieces like that size. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do. All right. So, this is the second one. All right. That I'm going to do pretty big. I'm going to do each of these probably into four pieces. All right, there's one, there's two, and there's three, four. You say you're fine, but I can see right through. You're holding your secrets for way too long. This can't keep going on. With every lie, they keep on hurting you, getting away with everything they do. This can't keep going on. Oh, we're gonna find them, and I'm gonna fight for you. They better start hiding. We'll be running with the lions, lions. We'll be running with the lions, lions. So I'm going to push all of this down in here now. You want it to be completely covered. All right, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to put the lid on now. All right, I've got the, the lid on and I'm going to put it on sealing, not venting. I'm going to come down here, show y'all as much as you can see. I'm going to put it on pressure. And I think I'm going to do um, three minutes. All right, now it's going to take a while for it to come up to pressure because of there is so much liquid in there. So I'll bring you back. I'm going to do an immediate um, release when this gets done, and I will bring you back. Okay, y'all, while the... Um, 
the rest of the lasagna soup is cooking in the um, pressure cooker or the ninja foodie. I'm using the ninja foodie, but you could use the instant pot and do this as well. I'm going to um, make the... I'm going to put a make a filling, I guess. I don't know what else to... But when it gets done, I'm going to mix this in it and stir it up real good. So I'm going to put about a half a cup... Well, about a half a cup of cottage cheese. I don't like so much the um, ricotta. Is that what it is, ricotta? Yeah, I don't like that so much. So I've got grated Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put some of that in here, probably about a fourth of a cup of grated. And then I'm going to use the, the powdered... <laughs> What I, the, you know, the powdered Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put probably about a fourth of a cup of that in here, too. All right, and then I'm just going to stir this up really good with the fork and mash it all around and get it stirred up. And when the taco soup gets finished, and I open the lid. I'm going to put this in there and then stir this up real good. And I, when, I, when it gets done, I'll bring you back and show you. All right, there goes the pin. All right, so let me take the lid off of here. You always take your lid off away from you because you see all that steam. Well, you couldn't see because I had it down too far. Anyway, the steam just pours out. All right, so let me get you back here. Zoom out some. There's the soup. Oh, it looks so good. Uh. All right, now I'm going to go in and put this cheese in here and stir it up real good. And this is going to make it taste. Oh, I need to find my bay leaves. Oh, well, I'll find them after I get this stirred up. This is going to make it taste even more like lasagna. Well, my bay leaves have gone. <laughs> I don't know where they're at. There's one back there. All right. I get so caught up in the middle. Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling She's really melted in here And I don't see my other bay leaf in here at all I know it's in here but I don't see it All right, now I'm going to go on and put some um, mozzarella cheese on it, on top of it. I'll find the bay leaf eventually. All right. A good handful of mozzarella cheese. A little bit more. All right, now I'm going to put the lid down on this, and I'm going to 
let it melt for a little while and put it in my bowl and let it cool off so I can taste it for y'all. I'm kind of excited about this too because I've never had this before. So this is something definitely that that's different for me. So I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, it's cooled off enough. I put some noodles in the spoon to cool off because I'm dying to taste this. I want to see what it tastes like so bad. I got two pieces of butter bread. Since I don't like garlic, butter bread is just fine with me. And here is the my first bite of this. Look at this, the cheese you can't, I don't know if you can see it, but it is just stringing off. Mmm. Oh my gosh, y'all. You, if you have never fixed this before, I have seen this for a long time and had never fixed it. And I had some hamburger today that, that five pounds of hamburger that I had gotten. And I needed something to make with it. And I happened to think about this and... <laughs> the cheese is just stringing everywhere. It is so good. Oh my gosh, it's good. Look, <sighs> see the cheese. <laughs> All right, now come on, get up on here. <sighs> mm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. This is amazing. In those three minutes, because I had gotten the sauce and all so hot in there on the, um, when I had it on the saute um, button, it just, the three minutes were perfect for this. All right, Cena, there's a big piece of ground beef. Uh, stop. My camera's doing something. All right, there you go. Oh, let me taste this. You can't imagine how good this is. It is really, really good. It's got just the right amount of salt, just the right amount of um, the spices. It is really, really good. All right, y'all. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. And also look um, below that to different things that I use in my kitchen that you can purchase at Amazon or through vendors that send me their products to do reviews on. And I usually always um, include those and they'll, most of the time they always send a um, code so that you can get anywhere from 10 to 25% off. So... Please, if you need any of these products, click on the links, and they're no, they cost no more than they would if you clicked on them at Amazon or these um, retailers. It's they're the same price. It's just that I um, get a few pennies off of each thing that you get, and that helps me with the groceries to cook for y'all and stuff like that. So. I hope you have a good day, and you've got to fix this. You've got to. This is amazing. And I will talk to you later. Bye.